Hey Virgo, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I am going to be doing this reading in three different parts. The first is going to be general. The second part will be person on your mind. And then the last part will be for the singles. Hoping that this will appeal to you guys. Wider range and resonate with more people. Because we don't all come to tarot for the same reasons. Some of us just want general guidance in our energy right now. Others of us are checking on a particular person. And some of us are single and we're looking forward to new energy in our lives. So, depending on where you're at, you can bounce around the reading. It will be time stamped. Or you can watch all of it. So, let's get into your energy. I'm going to start with the general energy first, Virgo. And if you're interested in a personal reading, check me out down below. In the description box. What can you tell me for Virgo? So we have silver lining. We have butterflies. We have reflection. And camera guy, that's funny. Some of you guys could be into film and you could be more of a creative. You could be taking pictures or video. Some of you are really um, reflecting a lot in your life. It's given hermit, which is you guys' energy. You're reflecting and you're trying to see the silver lining in a lot of situations that have possibly happened to you. Um, you could be seeing a lot of butterflies, which are signs of good luck, metamorphosis spiritual awakening, new beginnings. They have a lot of good meaning to them. Bottom of the deck, we have the edit here. Some of you could be focusing on something creative that you're going to be like unveiling or something. Reassuring Rose. You could be going somewhere fancy that you have to dress up with in like a suit or something. Something that you have been putting a lot of time and energy into, and I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've been very solitary or solitude. You've been pulled back. You've been pulled away from people in order to get this off the ground. You know, Virgos, you guys are workaholics, so. And you're not, you're not a sign that's not okay with being alone. You can be alone to be able to focus on things. Tell me more for Virgo. I feel like you're thinking a lot about your life. We have say what you mean. We have discover your life purpose. And we have help from above. Some of you have been kind of playing background, I want to say. You could be kind of afraid to speak up during certain, you know, whether that's family members, relationships, friends. You could be kind of used to being the background person, which camera guy, that makes sense now. You know, the camera guy doesn't need to be the star of the show, but is a huge part of the show. So... There could be something that you have been doing where you really deserve more credit for it than you're getting. But at the same time, you're okay with not getting that credit. It's funny that I'm saying that because when I was first started reading up about the signs um, with astrology, it literally said that about Virgo. That Virgo, you guys do not mind being the back in the background. Even if you've put in just as much work, if not more, than everybody else is getting credit for it. You don't really mind being the background person. Virgos, you guys embarrass easier than other signs. And you don't like all that attention on you. It's like you like to be seen, but not too seen. You know, you, you'd prefer to be heard than seen. Um, so there might be a situation where you're going to have to speak up a little bit more. You might feel like you can't do that, but... You might be getting some help from 
you know, your angels, your ancestors. You might look back and say, I don't know where I got the courage to do that. I don't know where I got the strength to do that. That's not usually how I am. And it's because some of you guys are getting help, okay? It says, discover your life's purpose. This person's playing the violin. There could be something creative that you do that you have been like hiding from the world. You could be very good musically with something. Some of you guys, it's video. It's something creative that you guys have been like sleeping on yourselves, I want to say. Because you're shy. I don't know. I never feel like I connect with y'all. <laughs> we have insight here spell work and we got butterfly i can't make it up y'all are seeing butterflies specifically white ones means happiness there's happiness on the way for you silver lining seeing the silver lining in a situation then we have witch's boots says stability happiness and stability are heading your way virgo and a lot of insightfulness a lot of reflecting you guys are in a really adult energy just looking back on a lot of things that have happened and being like oh okay that's why i had to go through all that bullshit so that i could be to where i'm at right now being you know maybe standing up a lot more for yourself lacing up them witch boots honey and getting ready to kick somebody a nice swift kick in somebody's ass that's been needing it. I don't know. Um, somebody might be really taken aback by you speaking up for yourself because you're usually very laid back, very, you know, sweet, quiet, whatever. And, you know, Virgos, you guys aren't known for like being the shit talkers of the Zodiac, but when you really have had enough with somebody, you know how to let them know, okay? <laughs> and you're the you're more set in your way about what you say you know because a lot of like the fire signs they talk a lot of shit but they'll like go back on what they say or they end up not like really following through with what they say virgo you guys you usually say say what you mean honey that's what mean what you say and say what you mean i feel like you guys take very seriously so that's interesting. I feel like that was almost a personal reading for somebody. Some of y'all, you need to speak up more. And you you need to start being more open about your talents and sharing those with the world. There's something that could make you very happy and you could get a lot of money from it and stability from it if you believed in yourself. But this butterflies came out twice, so... That could be significant. Somebody could have like a butterfly tattoo or something. The numbers 27, 29, and 18 could be of significance to somebody. So that's the general for y'all. Let's get into the person on your mind. The written messages. Person on your mind. What can you tell me for Virgo? This one didn't want to come get back in the deck here. We have You Can't Save Me by Sir. So again, this is going to be totally separate energy from what we just channeled, what we just talked about. This energy is somebody you possibly, you were with Virgo, where you could have been trying to save this person from themselves, but they didn't want to change. Look up the lyrics to any songs that come out. We have, why didn't you let me explain myself? I never wanted things to go like this. Bitter. Red Casamigos by Tory Lanez. When I'm intimate with someone else, I always have to think about you to climax sexual ties <laughs> it's funny because this red casamigo song is very freaky it's very sexual y'all and i was gonna say somebody's thinking about you when they drink when they get freaky somebody's thinking about you someone's mad that you didn't let them say what they needed to say 
I don't know how to be alone. That's why it triggered me when we stopped talking. These third parties are just fillers. I don't love them. So somebody's dealing with other people, but obviously they're still stuck on you, Virgo. They're still stuck thinking about you. I'm mad at you right now. You always think you're right. You never listen to me. <laughs> we got blame game. I see you in this new energy. It seems like you're moving on, possibly dating. I hate watching you in secret, but I hope you find happiness. The full card here. It could be an Aquarius. I can understand why you've turned your back on me in the toxic cycle we were in. I did way too much. I'm proud of you for wanting better. We have death energy, Scorpio energy. Y'all, this person must know that you really ain't checking for them. One more for Virgo. We have TGIF by Glorilla. It's 7 p.m. Friday. It's 95 degrees. I ain't got no new and no ain't got me. That's the mood some of y'all are in. <laughs> I'm about to shake my ass. Love freak. How the is that your man? If he right here with me. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Tell me more for Virgo. Yeah, y'all have released this person and you're closed off to them. You're guarded. You're resistant towards any kind of message or anything that they would try to send you. Yeah, guarded. Heavy on the guarded. Ego. Anything you were trying to plant, it like died before it had a chance to be anything is what I want to say. This person showed their ass to you pretty quickly, pretty early on to where anything you thought was going to be uh, died off pretty quick for you. Virgo, y'all are so analytical. You can analyze the situation before it even has to get too far. That's one thing I can say about y'all is that you don't really allow a situation to get too, too far before you already know what it is. But there's a feeling of like, this person feels like it was unfair though. Like you didn't let them fix things. But then there's also this energy of them. Like, I understand why you turned your back on me, you know, in the toxic cycle that we were in. So a lot of you could have given this person multiple chances to the point where you're just, you're done. How are they feeling about you, Virgo? They feel like you hide a lot of how you feel about them, but that they they really do feel like you have no feelings for them, that you have closed off from them entirely. They don't have hope for you to be wanting to be back with them at all. You could have some water in your chart or they could be heavy on the water, heavy on the Cancer Pisces for them. We got Leo energy here too. They're really sad and depressed about this shit. Man, your cutoff game was cold, Virgo. Like, you mean it. How do you feel about them? Like, it's a burden. It's a burden, um, a burden lifted. That they were manipulative as hell. And you're tired of the arguing. You don't want to argue, you give up, they win. Nah! You could have fire in your chart or Gemini in your chart. Yeah, you ain't for all that arguing and all that back and forth toxic shit. You got tired of that. You really started to see this person was manipulative as hell. You don't got time for that. Good for you, Virgo. I feel like you really cut this person off with the quickness and you meant what you said. You meant what you said. Really in a defensive energy, too. You feel like you've been through the ringer with this person. And some of y'all, you have no... <laughs> you don't really want to be with nobody. That's what I'm seeing. You look at people as a burden. 
So this single part, this single portion might be kind of interesting, but we're going to get into it. That's what I have for the person on your mind or the person that's got you on their mind, rather. I've never seen a more clear thing of like, I'm done <laughs> than that. So, all right, Virgo, single Virgos, what can you tell me? Single Virgos, what's the energy crowning the single Virgos? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's the energy crowning the singles? Okay, so we have the Four of Swords reversed. You could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your chart somewhere. Why is the Four of Swords reversed? Okay. And the devil's reversed on the bottom of the deck. Glad that it's reversed. You guys are kind of impatient about waiting for a lover to come in. You feel like this is something you deserve. Like, I deserve a good lover, which you do. You deserve a king of cups. And so there's this impatient energy of, I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. I don't, when are, when are they coming? When are they coming? You know, that's kind of the energy I'm feeling. Um, you could kind of be like, I don't want anybody that is too long distance because maybe you've done the long distance thing before and you're tired of that. So you don't want somebody who's too far away or doesn't like know how to plan dates out and knows when they're going to see. Like you want somebody who's very sure about what they want from you. They're very sure about how they're going to keep you happy. You want somebody who's very emotionally well-rounded. And you feel like this is something you really deserve, which you do. We all do. Why is this three of wands reverse? People have been wishy-washy with you in the past, and that's why you don't want nobody coming in your energy that doesn't know what they want. Okay? Could be another earth sign coming towards you here. Here is this knight of pentacles. I want to say that this person coming towards you, they're going to have like a plan. They're going to be somebody you really respect. This is an entrepreneurial type of person. They could have their own business or be like a CEO or manager or supervisor. They could be, they have an upper level in their career. And so that part is really sexy to you. It's very attractive. You view them as a professional but they could be a little inconsistent at first coming towards you because they could be dealing with something that hasn't a third party situation that hasn't fully like closed out is what i'm seeing why is this three of cups here there also could be an aspect of them like they they like to go out too much or drink too much and that's something that you don't like it's kind of like one of those things where like they work hard but they could play harder type thing yeah, you might cut this person off because, or tell them that they have to cut out the drinking or the going out if they want a relationship with you. Um, or if there's a third party, you, you could say, yeah, you definitely have to cut that shit out if you want a relationship with me. Why is this Wheel of Fortune reverse? Mm-hmm. So this person has to work on that ego and their toxic masculinity if they have it. That's what's maybe stopped this person in the past. This could be somebody who might feel like in order to, I don't really like that. I was going to say they, they could feel like because they have the job, the career, all of that, they can have who they want and they can cheat or they can have as many people in the background as they want. So be careful with that. I do feel like you're going to put your foot down and let your standards be known about the fact that you're not going to stand for that. But it's going to be up to this person. 
whether or not they are willing to get rid of that. They're quite stubborn. They're quite sure about it. It could be an Aries or a Leo. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But I do see someone coming towards you. But I see you being very clear about what it is that you want and what it is that you don't want. Part of the reason why you might run into an energy like this that is still dealing with third parties and they're kind of toxic is because you didn't want to wait, Virgo. Remember, that's the energy crowning all of this. You didn't want to wait for a King of Cups. You, you're getting impatient about wanting to wait for it and wanting to rest and kind of reflect. And, you know, so you might end up getting somebody coming towards you, but they're not going to be exactly what you want. All right. So some of you guys, that could be your cue to wait. Calm down and wait and realize that everything is happening the way that it should happen. Because sometimes when we rush into things because we want intimacy, we want love, we want to, you know, we want to be in a relationship. When we rush it, a lot of times we get stuff that we don't want. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. If it resonated, be sure to like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.